It's an exciting uh, week, week for us, uh, particularly uh, to get the transportation network uh, company legislation across the finish line. This is something that's been a, a multi-year effort here in Missouri and uh, couldn't be more proud of the work uh, that our bill sponsor Kirk Matthews did along with uh, Representative Elijah Har, who worked on this issue very hard last year, Representative Jay Barnes before that, um, and a lot of credit to Senator Onder uh, for his work uh, over in the Senate. So we're proud to have uh, that bill across the finish line. I'm going to let Kirk talk about that uh, a little bit, and then we'll open it up. I'm very gratified with the vote that we saw today. Uh, there's been a lot of hard work by a lot of people, including commitment from our leadership here, uh, from our uh, speaker, from our floor leader. And it's definitely a team sport. Uh, Senator Onder did enormous work on the Senate side, um, trying to uh, make sure all the stakeholders' uh, uh, concerns were addressed. He did a great job of that, and I couldn't be more pleased with the outcome. I think the key was to, to get the vote in such a way that was like seven no votes. Or? Yeah, it was only only seven no's today, which was very gratifying. I think some of the keys were there's enormous demand for these services in our state. And when you sit down and you think about the arguments for the bill, for the legislation, the economic uh, driver that this can be for our state, not just uh, in the way that we'll, there will be thousands of more new small businesses, but keeping Missouri competitive to compete for uh, on the national stage for high-tech businesses. You know, I had testimony in committees when uh, the commissioner of uh, St. Charles County came down and said, they're bringing high-tech businesses in from out of state to think about locating in St. Charles County, and they can't get a TNC ride from the airport, which is only three miles away, and they're saying this is not a high-tech environment. So I think, I think it adds on a lot of fronts. Uh, just curious, I, I know that there have been some other bills this year, some economic development ones that had emergency clauses attached to them. Was there any reason that there wasn't on this bill, or was it just kind of a, it wasn't really a fact that it was considered at all? I didn't really consider uh, this for an emergency clause uh, as far as meeting some of the requirements uh, for public safety, et cetera. I don't know if leadership ever talked about that, but um, I didn't feel the need to press that issue. Um, so August 28th, we'll see a lot of uh, a lot of transportation network company rise being held in our state. Mm -hmm. August 28th. <coughs> Two big disruptive technology bills, other ones the home away, Airbnb bill. Are you going to see any progress on that? Yeah, I, I think uh, I know Representative Sonia Anderson has worked incredibly hard uh, on that bill all session long. We've got a version uh, on the calendar, and I know she's continuing to work uh, with some of our members to make sure that uh, they're ready to go. But uh, I think we've already seen that, that effort advance uh, a good ways this session, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to take. Uh, push that bill a little further down the line for the end of session. Do you think that one's a little bit more challenging than Uber legislation just because it's the nature okay. of I think if you rewound back to the beginning of our discussion about transportation network <laughs> companies, you'd find it was every bit as complicated as, uh, as the home sharing is. And so it took us uh, a while to get the language right and a lot of work. Um, and so I don't think uh, it's really any different. Uh, they're complicated issues, and we want to make sure we get them right. We heard you met with the governor recently. What was that? Conference? I met with him last night too on the softball field. It didn't go so well. <laughs> um, but yeah, we the this is a continuation of the good communication that we've had all session long, um, and you know had a good chance to talk about uh, some of the things that we need to get done over the last four weeks of session. Are there any top priorities that uh, you and the governor discussed that are? Yeah, I, well, I, look, I think they're the same shared priorities that the Senate leadership and I've been talking about. Uh, and the government been talking about from the beginning of session, and that is to create the, the most competitive economic environment uh, we can here in, in Missouri. Um, and so uh, there are priorities along those lines. Are there plenty of areas of overlap between your priorities and the governor's priorities? Are there any areas that you guys are seeing disagreements as we get close to the end of session? Look, we have disagreements on uh, small, small things on the substance all the time, and there are some things that are probably higher priorities to him than they are to the House. And, I'm sure by, vice versa, but we started the session uh, trying to focus on the things that uh, we can agree upon with the Senate, and uh, we've got a governor now that will sign them. So that's the stuff we're going to focus on over the last four weeks. Are we going to see SB 43 next week uh, on the floor? It's, uh, I, we're going to talk about that as a caucus, but uh, it's been a priority to reform employment law uh, here in Missouri for, the last, for every year I've been in the House. So I think you'll see some action uh, on that over here. What's your personal opinion on that bill? Well, look, I voted for employment the employment law uh, changes every uh, every year that we've had them up in the House. Um, 
I think making some reasonable changes to protect employers uh, is the right policy. So we'll continue to work through the through the details and uh, maybe see something on that next week. Is this the correct vehicle, the way it's written? For what you want to see? I haven't had a chance to, to spend a whole lot of time with the substance. I know our committees have considered it and passed it out clean. Um, and so we'll talk about it uh, as a caucus next week and the floor leader uh, and I'll visit about it and we'll decide how to proceed. Representative Bayetti wrote you a letter uh, discussing her concerns with it, including the person who was carrying it in the Senate. Now he might have a conflict of interest. What's your take on that situation? Look, I think we ask in a part-time legislature, we ask members, both the House and the Senate, to bring their experience from their private lives um, into the building and bring them to bear. Um, I'm not going to comment. I have not seen, had a chance to read all the court documents that, that she put with it, so I'm not going to, to comment on that specifically. I know Senator Romine. I think he's uh, a, a good man, and I think he's trying to do this because he thinks it helps uh, the overall environment uh, for businesses to compete and operate here in Missouri. So I'll leave it at that. Um, prescription drug monitoring yep. is up in the Senate right now. And let's is it literally up right now? Literally at the second. Um, what do you think the um, What do you think adopting that would mean for Missouri and also some of the states surrounding I think, us? I think it would be. It's something that I would really like to see us get done. I think it's. There's been a ton of work uh, put in on both sides uh, of that debate. Uh, so seeing that bill get across the finish line uh, would would uh, I think be something uh, that we consider to be an accomplishment over here uh, in the House. So if the Senate can get it out. I know. Uh, Representative Rader be glad to take it up and uh, see if she can get it across the finish line. Have you had a chance to talk with her about the changes that Senator Schaaf has proposed? I have it? not. Okay. Are Thanks, you, guys. Are you at all concerned about the time crunch with the budget? Uh, the Senate still okay. the budget? I think we're, we're right on the timeline that Chairman Fitzpatrick and uh, Senator Brown laid out at the beginning uh, of session, so I'm not worried about it at all. Thanks, guys. Thanks.